right, so S2000 axles, OEM axles. I'm swapping the cups from side to side. So uh, I started without filming on the driver's side, got it all apart, but this is the proper way to do it, guys, if you're gonna re-grease these. Um, you wanna take this boot all the way off. And the only way to do that is to get everything off of the spline shaft here. And that is the side, of course, that goes to the differential. This video is just in relation to the inner CVs, and so those are the ones that are known to cause problems. The outer ones do not have this problem. Uh, speaking of grease, I've done a lot of research. The M grease that you get for these is NGLI2 for the outers, and then the insides that are mating to the differential get a number one um, that's much thinner. So it kind of sprays around and is much more fluid inside this boot. And uh, I'll show you what the uh, bearings and stuff look like for the inside here. It's really simple. This is my first time ever taking one of these apart. So these are both clamps for the CV joint. This is the clip that keeps this yoke on the uh, spline shaft. And these are your bearings. So this is the side that has a large flange. That side installs. So when you put these back, make sure you do it the correct way. Just a quick look at this here. This is mine. This is the driver's side, the side that's known to have all the wear on the car. The grease came out in a dark green color. So when it goes in, it's yellow. The OEM grease is yellow. So I assume this is the OEM grease and it just has discolored from uh, a little bit of metal shavings in it over the years. I'm pretty surprised to pull this apart and see almost no wear. So as you can see on these contact surfaces, there's a mark where the rollers contact. I'll spin it around again. But almost no pitting has started really yet. Um, but it's it's definitely visible of where the rollers were contacting. Some people that run these to 200,000 have severely pitted axles and they get their acceleration vibration. So uh, what I'm doing here, I've only got 87,000 miles on these, but I am doing the car steps rear hubs on the car and replacing the entire hub assembly. So I figure it's a great time to do a little preventative maintenance on these axles. Uh, 87K, I'm gonna be swapping the driver's side cups to the passenger side just to give it a fresh contact surface. Just wanna give you guys a quick look at how it looks here. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is while I disassemble the passenger side, the process is the exact same. The only difference really between the two is the driver's side axle is a tiny bit shorter. It's very, very easy to get this boot off, but I couldn't find any direct references online of how to do it. They all use pliers and say it's super easy, but what you wanna do here, you got these two metal hooks, and that's what holds it tight. This back here, these two lips, the small one and then the larger one on top, is what you wanna squeeze with your pliers. You don't wanna use needle nose for this, you wanna use something bigger. And you basically just grab those and when you squeeze them you'll be able to see this this loosens up see how that's loosening a little bit so you just got to squeeze them enough to where that you can pop that off with your other finger i'm holding the camera right now so i can't do it but you just squeeze it enough so where you can pop that out and they come off super easily no damage to the clamp um, and then you can reuse them put them back on the same way where you squeeze that and then loop that under these hooks and the nice part about it is this these uh, inner CVs have this style clamp on both, right? So I took both off with the same way. Up here, you use these two with the pliers, and back here, you use these two. So you can reuse these clamps on the inner CV side that usually needs the maintenance. The outer CVs here, um, which take the thicker grease, have these pinch clamps. So these are much trickier to reuse if you um, I plan to rebuild this. I don't because known to not nearly fail as often as the inside or cause any vibration issues. So I don't plan to even open this up being the mileage on my car, but there's a special pinch clamp tool to pinch this to get the proper preload on it. The only way to get this off is to loosen up this bend to get this off the hook. So uh, you probably can reuse these, but they're not going to be as ideal as the first time they're crimped. All right, guys, here's a look at how easy it is to get this boot off. Pop it out, let go, and that's it. Now you can take this off, and then it's the same process for the inner one. Make sure you have some paper or have this thing in a bucket or a giant rag or something. When you pull this boot off, grease is gonna spill out. But what I mean is this is the right way to do it is you wanna go as far as taking all this off and getting the boot off because my car has a lot of rust here. When I pop this boot off, there's a lot of rust stuck like inside the lip there that's gonna fall and contaminate the grease inside this boot. If you don't take off this whole boot, there's gonna be a pocket down here near the clamp that has 
a bunch of old grease in it that you're not going to be able to really get to and clean thoroughly. See all the rust falling off of this thing. And of course, when you take this apart, the spot, the bearings and everything just fell in the rust particles. So I'm gonna want to, you know, clean everything very thoroughly. This one looks a little more like cottage cheese on the inside. So I don't know if I have ever had some kind of moisture or something going on in this one. The driver's side did not look more like contaminated like this side. So I'm glad I'm pulling these apart. And this is the passenger side and it will be swapped to the driver's side. Flathead screwdrivers here to work it up around 360 degrees, being careful not to damage the clip because when you take it off, it should be nice and flat and tight like that one over there. But once you take that clip off, you then you can slide the spider or the tripod assembly, I should say, straight out and then undo your inner boot clamp and slide the boot off. You can see that each side is nice and black, matte black now, and that these uh, OEM boots I reused, OEM clamps, and uh, they're looking real pretty in there. Torqued all the bolts, you can see, paint marked them. And uh, underneath the car is looking really, really good now with those axles, those axle cups painted, because before that was just the biggest eyesore underneath the car was those, the rust on those.